Welcome to Hour 3 of the Nutramedical Report, live for Tuesday, July 6th. Freeman, what's the latest? As I said uh, just on break, uh, Freeman, I know that you were, your, uh, as I say, your spirit was very active, uh, digging up information for this. And I mentioned this shocking fact I heard from one source. I need to corroborate it, but what I heard from my sources is that, in fact, the moment that the rig blew up was literally the hour, and some people think even the minute, of the moment of birth of Adolf Hitler, April 20th. Of course, they knew February they were having major gas release problems, fluctuating pressures, the same kind of things that were occurring in the North Sea, where they shut down the North Sea uh, deep uh, drilling operations there. Uh, the movement of the magma underneath the geotectonic plates of the Earth, the movement of these basilisks of oil around the planet is increasing because the Earth changes are speeding up as we're seeing the approach of the nemesis dwarf star and the movement of the planet through the galactic plane of the Orion arm of the Milky Way constellation. So all these things are happening. They're cyclical patterns, but there are actually uh, many things that are occurring in our world as we're moving toward this new disaster that's going to be what I call the lethal wound to America. As it says in the Bible, I saw a beast rise up of the earth that had the appearance of a lamb, which presented itself as a Christian nation, but when it spoke, it spoke for the voice of a dragon, and of course the head the, uh, of the world, this nation, received a lethal wound, but yet it lived. And all the world wondered after the beast, and that is America after or post uh, the blowout of this BP well, not only causing toxic hurricanes that kill people, but toxic possible tsunamis that will wipe out a, the uh, entire southeastern United States if it continues and the toxic clouds and destruction of the oceans could be a kill shot, a, an extinction-level event to the planet. So I believe this is the, quote, the artificially created peak oil scam of the century, of the, of the millennium, uh, caused by these demonic um, maniacs. And, of course, even the response of our government is completely incompetent, refusing to even have help. I mean, the, the people, the experts from the Netherlands were scratching their heads, wondering, we've got our equipment waiting to help you. And they refuse it from the Russians, from these 12 nations. And uh, it's, it's so evil on every step what's going on here. And the people are being literally, they don't know they're already dying. The people are breathing these chemicals are in the process of dying today. We just don't have a body count yet, do we? Well, anger and demoralization are the words of the day. Right. And this is something that we have been tracking for some time as far as the actual efforts of the elite to project into us the ideas of demoralization and anger. I mean, simple things such as us all going broke and while Barack boasts making $600 million in book sales. Uh, we start to look at the picture where we're seeing Prince William announcing a $40 million and now $20 billion wedding. Uh, this is due to all of the things that the Queen will be giving him, such as Da Vinci artworks and uh, just the, the jewels alone that Kate will be wearing at the wedding are, are valued at $57 million. So here are all of us, the lowly us, uh, left with nothing, you know, all of the economies crashing, the euro going down, the American dollar uh, taken out of the, the national trade, all of this uh, just to demoralize and anger us. So we have to be very careful as they do perform such rituals as a Gulf oil disaster. Now, we think of it as a ritual because of the numerous uh, occasions of these 420 events. You know, it's not just Hitler's birthday, but we got Waco, the Oklahoma City bombing, Columbine, Virginia Tech, and the Pope even visiting Ground Zero last year on 420. Uh, this year, of course, today, actually, we have the Queen at Ground Zero giving another message of eternal light. And they're always giving this message. The Pope said the same thing when he visited Ground Zero last year on 420, uh, that we want to have eternal light. And this constantly going back to the reference of Lucifer. And the so we see as we start to move into this next paradigm, now the 4th of July was a date that I have been watching uh, on top of everything else because the 4th of July is a major day for the Egyptian pantheon, for the Freemasonic order, and for the ritualistic aspects of the Brotherhood. Because this is the day that their star, their dog star, Sirius, conjoins with the sun. And it is a very powerful ritual day to them. And on top of that, uh, it was marked in Egypt as the day of the dog days of summer, and it was because the Sirius uh, conjoined with the sun. 
cause they believed at that time causing all the heat. Well, what we find now is actually on July 1st, July 2nd, July 3rd, that uh, major coronal ejections occurred uh, from the sun on these days, especially July 3rd. There were four major ejections from the sun. And we've, we've now done studies to understand the correlation between these massive solar flare eruptions and world wars. So now our brotherhood that we're dealing with here, they're involved in understanding all of this type of structure. Not only are they going to watch and, and organize things around solar eruptions, magnetosphere depletions, and things of this nature, because they know this affects the body. But they're also going to attack at the mind level. And so right now there is a serious program going on through our pop culture to lead us into this fallen angel uh, mentality, the princess warrior bloodthirsty hero. And this is where I would like to get into with you a, a yeah. bit of the rituals, the understanding of, of why things are being programmed into our children, the new motto, live and let die. Yeah. And then how all of this is used with the Gulf oil disaster well, to convince our soul spirits to give up. Well, look at the uh, latest. These little teenage girls are fawning over whether they should marry a werewolf or a uh, blood-drinking vampire. That's exactly correct. And it's called yeah. Eclipse. It's called Eclipse. Remember now, everything occulting, we talk about the occult, is basically the occulting of one star system to another. In the first hour, we discussed it with Jonathan Gray that the original... Uh, gospel, the truth about the nature of our reality, the nature of our creator God is, was actually in the star signs and heavens, and it was perverted and later turned into an occult ritual used by the global elite and the Satanists to actually control all the courts of all the kings and all the rulers of earth. If people don't understand this, they don't realize the occult means when one sign crosses another. And of course, Sirius B is in the belt of Orion, which is the origin of the Nephilim that came to earth and transferred technology, the the uh, god uh, Onanes, the fish god, <clears throat> who is the, you want to call it the serpentine reptilian that actually transferred metallurgy, medicine, agri agronomics, and other technology in the monetary system and the dialectics of control over the masses. All of these technologies were brought here by demonic beings from other worlds. Yeah, if we follow the ancient script and we look back, we come back to these fallen angels, and the Book of Enoch is one of the key uh, tools for learning and understanding that very story. Right. And we'll find that the Enochian story is, is heavily encoded into the Freemasonic rituals to the point where it almost is just an Enochian ritual, and how all of this then correlates with uh, global politics. And that's where, you know that's where you need to start taking the picture. We have to understand the occult and then bring this over into the global politics. Yeah, it's even uh, that's why high-level Masons know that something that I mentioned before, I'm going to repeat it, uh, that, uh, that pigs are hybrid between human genetics and wild boar. It was used in these ancient rituals and the rituals of Atlantis, Sumer, and these ancient cultures, and it was an abomination, which is why the pig was placed on the altar of the Holy of Holies uh, during the time of the sacrifice by the invaders. They did this because it was an abomination to put human flesh, which is a hybrid. So when people are eating pig, they don't understand. Wild boar is not human. Pig is partly human genetics, which is why it's used as a template for growing multi-system organs by people like Dr. Richard Seed, physicist in Chicago, and the application of multi-organ HLA haplotype non-rejecting organ transplants that are tissue type to your tissue. Okay? And so this goes back to, and we know that spelt, for example, they tried to go and see if they could genetically engineer spelt, and then they went to genetic studies and found out that spelt was already holographically genetically modified, not just by gene cassettes shot into them, but very advanced genetic modification occurred to spelt and is very ancient. Amazing, eh? Absolutely. Yeah, remarkable stuff. Let's get into this more. Your, your knowledge is amazing, uh, Freeman. We come back. I'm going to not interrupt you as much. I want to hear more about your analysis of this because it is ceremonial. These dates and times are very, very telling. Back in a moment. <laughs> 